Hey guys, and welcome to the bloodbath that is the crypto market. That's right, the crypto market is in shambles. Bitcoin trading below 8,500, right now trading at 8,421, Ethereum 168.79, and XRP, guys, at the lowest point we've seen it in a while, 0.238 cents trading right now. And look at that sea of red, Bitcoin down 13.64, Ethereum 14.62, XRP 11.35, everything is down double digits. Uh, and uh, a lot of people are wondering why this happened yesterday. When we take a look at the Bitcoin chart here, uh, actually, first of all, I just wanted to say the market cap right now is down to 219.6 billion, so down roughly 30, 35 billion since yesterday. People have been withdrawing their money from the market. If I go to the Bitcoin chart here on the daily, Guys, you can see that this level of resistance, this fairly strong level that we had seen maintain over the last several months has now been pierced and uh, we are now looking like we are in a different, so old resistance can become new support, uh, like here, making that lower echelon about 8,000 to about 87, 8,800. Okay, I'm taking bottoms of tails and tops of bodies in this case. Otherwise, we are looking to be down here. Okay, between that 75 to 8,000 dollar mark. But uh, right now we haven't pierced this yet. So let's just let's take uh, yeah, let's take bottoms of tails here, tops of bodies because we are clearly right. So this is what I am demonstrating here. Okay, this this zone here, and we have clearly dipped into this zone trading right now at 8431 and so guys i generally tend to say this is a great time to buy and for those of you who want to accumulate uh i would keep an eye what i would say is don't buy right this second and guys by no means is this financial advice obviously do what you want to do i am not a financial advisor this is your hard-earned money so you should be doing what you want to do with your money all i'm saying is that i wouldn't buy right this second i would keep an eye on it you know keep eyeing the charts keep watching to see a new trend form uh because uh it could go bitcoin could go lower don't know if it'll bring the altcoin market with it if you look at xrp here on the daily we saw you know xrp just blast through that level of support and now having a pretty uh, uh you know a, a, a significant attempt at climbing itself out of it uh we can see here that xrp did dip as low as get this guy's 22 cents yesterday but then reaching back up here to just underneath our former level of support now hovering in that 23 24 cent mark not far off former lows of what we had seen for xrp in the past right uh just underneath it and so again this is not this is nothing to do with um you know fundamentals of xrp the cryptocurrency or bitcoin the entire market is down so obviously something was brewing and we need to get down to the bottom of this so bitcoin price plunges below 8500 as analysts warn sell off likely not over yet i'm just going to read you a few quotes here this from uh, jeff dorman uh, from bloomberg says price action is being driven by short-term technical analysis right now as every low price that bitcoin has bounced off of and every high price has been reached has proven to be resistance because crypto is still dominated by short-term focused traders these telegraphed narratives often become self-fulfilling prophecies and so let's go back to bitcoin here real quick Saying that we bounced off uh, resistance up here and then coming back down in support, a lot of these traders are looking for the short-term gain. You know, a lot of them had cashed out after seeing this huge rally up since April and now cashing out. So Michael Goldstein says a further BTC dip below 8,300 is likely based on the stock to flow model. So Michael Goldstein here on Twitter has a little graph showing that. Guys, I will link all these articles in the description if you want to read further. Crypto analyst Don Alt is looking to the 100 day range, a range of 100 days just broke to the downside. If this is a bullish shakeout, it'll be obvious once BTC reclaims 10,000. So very good point. If it's just a shakeout, BTC will indeed climb back to that $10,000 mark. What this kind of reminds me of was back in, uh, do you remember last fall when we saw this guys, when we essentially saw, now let me get the, let me get the pen out here, the brush rather. 
we essentially saw, you know, this vacillating movement. Okay, we were hovering in that $6,300 range right uh, before November, and then we just saw that huge dip. Kind of took us off guard, blindsided a lot of us in the crypto space, but that's when Bitcoin found its bottom. Okay, hovering in that $32 to $3,500 range, and then boom, by the spring, we saw that uptrend. So could this be something similar? A shakeout perhaps? Josh Rager says BTC update overview of levels. The 200 day moving average below along with some heavy support near 8K. You can see the heavy support on the chart here. Uh, there was also the fact that the SEC delays decision on the Wilshire Phoenix Bitcoin ETF approval. Uh, some people were talking about the meeting yesterday, uh, September 24th, and how that could have affected the, the entire cryptocurrency market. Essentially them continuing to drag their heels on a lot of topics. Uh, this from Cointelegraph US House Committee hearing with the SEC on Libra, crypto and securities. Uh, guys, I will link this article in the description. It's great because it kind of gives us some uh, highlights based on the time that uh, that things happen. So let me just go over this roughly. So Chair Maxine Waters began the hearing with statements touching on a wide range of SEC activities, signaling Facebook's Libra out, saying it appears Facebook is looking to establish a new financial system intending to rival the US dollar. Wow. 1017 opening statements from the commissioners. Robert J. Jackson Jr. emphatically supported greater transparency for corporate political spending and the need to provide greater transparency for customers. Uh, Hester Pierce expressed a concern about overriding investor preferences, saying that the job of the SEC is not to make decisions for investors. Okay, guys, I'm just touching on some of the highlights here. Again, I will link this in the description. 1036, SEC's Jay Clayton began his remarks by applauding the commissioner's recent progress in IT and cybersecurity. Uh, let's get back down to crypto 1040 maxine waters and libra shifting the conversation to facebook's libra uh referring to recent comments from president trump uh the development of libra clayton responded to representative waters saying what we have developed is an ecosystem of financial assets over the years saying that he indeed has a problem with the potential of digital assets to evade those existing regulations he did however praise the efficiency of cryptocurrencies at large Waters, however, pressed on Libra. A lot of this has to do with Facebook's Libra coin and the fact that it does essentially pose a threat to the existing system. They want to thwart. It seems as though Facebook wants to thwart the existing rules and regulations, want to create their own global currency for commerce, and as stated above, uh, wanting to rival the US dollar. So at 1045, Patrick McHenry and crypto continuing with the theme of cryptocurrencies and Libra. Uh, McHenry noted that Facebook's planned token is just an idea at this point. Okay, so just a white paper. Discussing down here more about the US dollar and uh, you know the fact that uh, people can evade taxes with cryptocurrencies and it's for drug dealers, terrorists. Uh, guys, again, I will link this in the description for the third time. Ali G on Twitter, that's at Ali underscore G underscore Ali underscore. Everyone is freaking out while Ripple is sipping cocktails and snacking on canapes. Relax, people. And here's Ripple's setup at Cybos 2019. Clearly there to schmooze up some potential clients. What a beautiful setup they got there. Uh, kind of funny, actually. Crypto Dash on Twitter, that's at Crypto underscore Dash XRP. My assessment of today's crash. So he says, today's SEC hearing on cryptocurrency, the US is trying their bloody hardest to control this asset class, and instead of helping it, they are getting in the way of it. The US is being left so far behind in adoption that it will soon be a third world country. I tend to agree with the fact that, uh, you know, the US didn't really get a jump start on this uh, quickly. And, uh, you know, in a lot of cases, companies are going overseas to start uh, to, to, to begin their startups. Cryptocurrency has now been around long enough that uh, uh, it's developing in the space and uh, more companies are starting up. More use cases for cryptocurrencies are being explored. And uh, the U.S. almost kind of wants to turn a blind eye to it, in uh, in my opinion. And so, you know, things just aren't moving quick enough. Uh, interesting assessment from Crypto Dash XRP. Tony Valentino at Tony Val 764-76318. Hashtag zero doubt. And he retweeted a tweet that he had uh, originally posted on September 7th. So like three weeks ago or so. Just heard that September will see a heavy market crash possibly due to regulations. XRP, the Phoenix, will rise in October. Not financial advice, just be ready. So Tony Valentino, he himself had to retweet his own tweet, essentially saying that he uh, did, in fact, hear that a market crash was potentially around the corner. And sure enough, 
this is where we are today, guys. So he originally posted that on September 7th, which was around here. Okay, this point here, and then boom, a dump. Uh, the good news there is that he does say, XRP the Phoenix will rise in October, not financial advice, just be ready. And the fact that XRP right now is trading at 23, 7.237 cents, great deal to buy. We haven't seen levels like this since, probably since before you can remember. So. Uh, before the bull run of 2017, we saw XRP vacillating between that 17, I'd like to say between, okay, let's call it 15 and 20-ish, maybe a little over 20, 23. Okay, so we're hitting the top end of that level right now before kind of, you know, before it was going up to about 30. So 15 to 30 cents was that was that level. It was a uh, it was essentially vacillating there in 2017 before, of course, the bull run of 2017, which brought all altcoins up with Bitcoin. And so will October be the month where we see XRP move? This from XRP underscore veteran, 99% down. And you know, I love the memes on crypto Twitter these days. It's just funny because we can't help but just laugh at what's going on. We know we've made good decisions on our investments. I mean, I don't know what you guys are invested in, but uh, you know, there are a handful of cryptocurrencies obviously that do have potential, that do have a future. And so we are just going through the teething pains right now, getting through the problems of an immature market at the moment. And so this is essentially all we can do. I finally saw this here from Sergeant Obi-Wan, that's at Sergeant Obi-Wan on Twitter, uh, posts to his blog here essentially um, linking a clip linking a YouTube video and then singling out a clip of uh, Jay Clayton from the SEC congressional hearing with the SEC today discussing cryptocurrencies versus uh, whether they will deem them securities versus not securities and there is a very big distinction so I brought up the clip here guys I am going to play it for you just listen to this for a second here and then uh, my final piece uh, I want to go to crypto which we've talked about a lot I think mr. Davidson hit it well uh, blockchain is here to technology is being developed, um, but now folks are moving to Singapore, Switzerland, the UK, uh, because of the clarity. Um, and, and my concern is what I heard earlier was, until we see it operate, we don't know whether it's a security or not. When I talk to the companies, what they would say is, well, we're not going to operate until we know whether we're going to be dinged as a security or not. So we have this chicken and egg piece. They move overseas and they say, we'll, we'll build our businesses over here. Once the U.S. figures it out, we'll consider coming back. Um, that I find concerning. Uh, and I guess I would ask, you know, what are, when can we expect more guidance? We've only had two no action letters. When can we expect something a little bit more concrete from the SEC? Or what are you doing to get there so that we can just provide some certainty here? Yeah, well, one, of the, one of the more difficult things about this, though, is each project is a bit different. They are, but your job is to get this right. And, we're, and, we're, and we are... Believe me, we have people who are focused on doing this, like Commissioner Purse noted, yeah. utility tokens, tokens that are truly for use and and get get rid of the frictions needed with you know moving around. Um, Getting rid of the have, frictions needed. I may needed. have too much computing power. You may have uh, you know too little, and I'm able to shift it to you with yeah. a token in a very great, fabulous. But um, if you're trying to build a server farm with those yeah. tokens and give people the return, that's a say. Thank you. With, I know it's hard. Uh, with my final second, I just want to encourage you to, to go faster. We okay. need it. Thank you. Go faster on cryptocurrency regulations. SEC Chair Jay Clayton. It's interesting when they choose to use words in these, uh, when they respond to these questions, he uses, you know, to remove friction. How many times have we heard representatives from Ripple say the exact same thing? Uh, clearly everybody is on board here. XRP is not a security guy. So will you be buying more cryptocurrency now that the prices have plummeted below significant levels of support? Are you buying XRP sub 25 cents? Are you buying Bitcoin sub 9,000? Do you even have the liquid cash to do this at this point? I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.